David Foote was responsible for three robberies within a week, according to Manchester police. This is video, prosecutors claim, of Foote as he was robbing the Sunoco gas station back on April 25th. During the struggle, the clerk receiving a cut to his hand that would require five stitches. In asking for $100,000 cash-only bail, the prosecutor told the court there were two main factors. Back pattern in these cases in the close proximity with which they occurred, uh, we believe that he'll continue this behavior if he's not held. Foot was already being questioned after the first robbery at Sears back on April 20th in which a loss prevention officer was allegedly punched by foot. Police credit the surveillance video with leading to Foote's arrest. According to the affidavit, Foote's wife called her sister and said her husband was the one in the video. Foote's sister-in-law then called police. And asking for lower bail, Foote says he is not a risk to flee. I was asked to come into the Manchester PD on my own volition for an interview, which at which time I was shown while calling Foote's criminal record minimal, the prosecution noted it was six pages long, containing prior theft and drug charges, along with motor vehicle violations. Now, police also claim that a search of Foote's apartment and his wife's car, they turned up the clothing that the robber was wearing in that Sunoco robbery. Now, Foote is due back here on May 15th for his probable cause hearing on the four felony charges, which include receiving stolen property and robbery. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.